part of the intro to a really great song by the Red Hot Chili Peppers called Venice Queen. There was a time where the lead singer Anthony Kiedis was struggling with heroin, and this woman, who he refers to as Glow, short for Gloria, saved his life. I guess she was his therapist or something. So, Gloria, an incredible woman who in part saved the world. This one's for you, Gloria. A uh, new Instagram friend who I had a brief conversation with. She's not getting the answers and support that she needs from her doctors. And this is very common in patients with autoimmune disease, complex chronic illness, and visible illness. And so we're going to talk a little bit about this. The corporatization of medicine, capitalism. I'm not, I love capitalism, but it's a two edged sword. And as things get bigger, as businesses get bigger, the quality of customer support tends to go down, right? And uh, you're, you're pushed off to automated service mechanisms and uh, you know, you're just less given a shit about essentially. And this is okay when we're dealing with things, iPhones, video games, food, cars, so on and so forth, but not so much people because people need nurturing and support and care especially when they're struggling with a chronic illness. And so, you know, these practices get bigger. They have 20 plus doctors. You see a physician assistant or a nurse practitioner instead of a physician. And I'm not bashing on PAs or NPs because a lot of them are amazing. And I'm not bashing on the doctors either. You know, as these practices get bigger, quality of care goes down, you become a number, there's quotas that need to be met, you know, and it's just, it's just a big messy thing. And so what do you do as a patient who's, who's caught in this corporatization of medicine? It's difficult and there's no easy answer because not everybody has the same access to, you know, the number of specialists that others do in certain areas. But we'll talk a little bit about this here. So Gloria reached out to me and she's not getting her answers. The criteria for care isn't being met. And so you have to really advocate for yourself. You've got to be forward and have some conviction for yourself and what you believe is going on. And it's not that you need to Google the hell out of everything and, and figure it out, but when I say advocate for yourself, make sure that your your criteria for good care is being met. That these doctors are taking interest in you as a patient. They want to know your story and they want to go to the furthest end to figure out what's going on. And, you know, some people have the luxury of just having the the view of just firing the doctor's ass and going to get another specialist, but again, not everybody has that luxury. So one of the things you can do, here's what I suggest you do if you're not getting the care you need. Write a letter to the doctor and don't be hostile on the letter. Say something like, hey, doctor such and such, I've been under your care for X amount of time. We've been trying to figure this out and I feel like I'm not getting the level of care that I need to uh, figure things out and get me along the path here to a good outcome on my healthcare journey. And I'd like to sit down with you during one of our visits, you personally, not the PA or the NP, and get this sorted out. Could you please give me 30 minutes of your time so that we can sort this out? Okay? And if they won't do that, You've done all you can do. And what I would say to you is, remember that you're the boss, okay? You're, you're the boss, you're the CEO of the business that is getting Gloria's health issues figured out, or John's health issues figured out, or Sue's health issues figured out. You're the boss of that business, 
And the doctors, the NPs, the PAs, the nurses, everybody who's part of that practice are your employees. And so if you approach things reasonably and you bring these issues up and your criteria for the level of care that you want is not being met, then it's time to fire their ass and find a new doctor. Because all you have is time. All you and I have is time, okay? Money will come and go. People will come and go. Dogs and cats will come and go. Things will come and go. But our only non-renewable resource is time, okay? We can't get that back. And time is ticking, right? Things need to get figured out. You need to have a quality of life so you can play with your grandkids, so you can play the piano, so you can go to work, so you can take your vacations and enjoy the beach or the mountains or whatever. Time is our non-renewable resource. So remember, you're the patient, you're the boss, approach things reasonably, understand this corporatization of medicine and what's happening. Go forward, advocate for yourself, have conviction for yourself. I know this is tough. It's not easy. Hang in there. You'll make it. And uh, give this song a listen. Venice Queen, Red Hot Chili Peppers. It's Saturday. Everybody enjoy their weekend and be safe. Bye-bye now.